Let's move on to the Cincinnati Bengals, a bandwagon that you have refused to jump on on the Pick 6 podcast. <laughs> Are you worried at all that Joe Burrow is going to continue to make you look silly and Breach look great? Right, and the reason I refuse to jump on it is strictly for vindictive purposes. John Breach, <laughs> obviously longtime Bengals fan, his dad kicked for the Bengals, uh, was one of the all-time Bengals greats. Uh, and But I am happy for, for John Breach, and I am happy for the city of Cincinnati because that was a huge win last week, uh, the first time in 30-something years. On Breach's birthday, no less, that they finally won that game. And I think the difference is this isn't your Andy Dalton's Bengals. This is your Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase Bengals, and they feel different. The way they played last week in that home win uh, had to give you some sense of, of, of inspiration if you're a Bengals fan and also a sense that they can play. Like, they're not afraid of anything. And it starts with Joe Burrow, who has plays with as much confidence as anyone in the league, and he's only in year two. And I think that pretends good things for them going forward. Now, whether it stops in Nashville is another, another concern. They have to face a, another daunting record. They are – forget the not winning the playoff game since the 90s or whatever. They have never, ever in the history of Cincinnati Bengals football won a, a, a playoff game on the road. They are 0-7. So this is one more thing they got to check off the to-do list. It's going to come against a really tough team in a really tough place in Nashville. A breach who lives in Nashville tells us on the Pick 6 Pod that he thinks there could be 35%, 40% Bengals fans in attendance, so perhaps that helps the Bengals get over the hump. Wow, yeah, 0-7 all-time in road games. I think it's the Texans are the only other team in the NFL without a road win in the postseason, and the Bengals have been around a hell of a lot longer than the uh, Houston <laughs> Texans, that's for sure. Let's get a pick. The line is three and a half in favor of the home team. Titans minus three and a half. The total is 47. I, I don't feel great about it, but I think the Titans eke this one out. And the funny thing is I say this all the time on the Pick 6 podcast. If you match up a football team and their personality with the city, there are no two more disparate things than the, the Tennessee Titans and Nashville. It feels like the Buffalo Bills would be a perfect fit in Nashville. All that said, uh, they win ugly, but I think they find a way to win. Ryan Tannehill doesn't have to put this game on his shoulders because Derrick Henry's back. They have the running game to lean on. I mentioned the defense is playing so much better this year than in years past. And while I don't think the pressure will be too much, for Joe Burrow and the Bengals. It just might be the case that the Titans are going to be a better football team uh, on this day. So I'll take the Titans to cover and, of course, to win that football game, but it's going to be a close, fun one to watch. Okay, close game, but Ryan still thinks they're going to cover the three and a half points at home, and the Titans would then move on to another AFC championship game. They were just there a few years ago. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.